Thanks so much for the, for the introduction. Yes. Why beyond the, what I have done there? Uh, and uh, I'm not a, a, a distinguished speaker. I'm in the mainland China, they called me the troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> so we made lots of trouble for the mainstream the, uh, uh, scientific society. So then finally we were kicked out by the Chinese Academy. So we moved from Beijing to Shenzhen, which is close to the, the capitalism. <laughs> So then it's a special uh, uh, economic zone, and then we can do whatever we want, and then there's no, as, as a, the former leader of, of the Communist Party, Deng Xiaoping said, there's no argument. Whatever you do, just go ahead. So we come over to Shenzhen to go ahead and doing whatever we think is good and it's necessary. So it's my great pleasure to come over to be a troublemaker speaker <laughs> to share what we have done, what we are going to do for the next uh, couple of years to found uh, some, uh, 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 to try to convince you guys. BGI is a good, uh, is, uh, we are the good people. We are looking for the partners, looking for friends to work together. And this, so my, my t the topical title is a little bit too big uh, the, for the digital life for better life. Because for the last couple of years, every year I visiting, or Bill Gates visiting us, we, we talk about that. He always talk about the digital revolution. That's, I asked him one day, ask him, digital revolution for what? For Microsoft or for Gates Foundation? And he said, well, digital life for better life. Then they become our, become our slogan. <laughs> so life started from the genes, our genes from our parents, and then from the single cell to the newborn baby, to as old as me, over 60s, <laughs> the gene is the fundamental thing to support, to guide, to decide whether we are going to, what's the real thing. So now for the medical, and practice for two days. Most, they go that way. They call it evidence-based medicine. From the individual, what you feel, no good you feel, some kind of sick, you need to see a doctor, and then they always go that way. What's wrong with you, and then you have a headache, or your stomach problem, and then and they give you some few examination, and, uh, and they give the image uh, examination, and then if things get serious, they take some biopsies and the pathologies. They go, go, go. Most time they can go probably around someone, somewhere around here. And a few things can go down to the DNA. But right now, the most things happened from the real beginning. The birth defect, up almost 100% from the, the beginnings, is the gene decide. It's your parents' problem. It's not the newborn baby's problem. They carry the bad gene from their parents. And all the infection disease it's a foreign genes. It's from the, the virus and the bacteria. It's so easy to be identified. All the tumors, it's the gene mutations. All from study from here. Why we spend so much time and the energy go that way? How about it go that way? Now the, the argument is, this is, the data is too big. The things is too complicated. It's too early for the disease. 
So right now, still, especially in mainland China, still go that way. Even there's, for the new uh, textbook, I never talk about this, the human genome project and the DNA related things, they always go that way. So now, since uh, last year, President Obama pro proposed, initiated precision medicine, now people realize how important go the right direction from the bottom to the top, from the real beginning. This is James Watson, and he's the co-founder. Uh, uh, he, he's the guy who founded the, the Double Helix, and uh, C.D. Brenner. He's the guy to, to initiate this called the called the Sinjo Dogma. It's called. The big challenge is here. Single cell has such a big data, the, the DNA base pair, three billion. And that time, the US government and the six countries worked together, spent three billion dollars to, oh, this one more, 30, no, 30 billion dollars to, to figure out. And this is too much at that time. But right now you see, all the price drop. We are the one of the driving force. I think in the next couple of years, we try to bring down to the 1,000 RMBs for genome sequences, for genome mapping. The president, your president asked me, for what? This is a little bit too much. I said, why not? Because we can do it. <laughs> so we propose how, how many species on the Earth? How much will it cost for us to digitalize all the things? So after Darwin's, can we provide the data to digitalize all this life to the human can? How much will it be? How much will it cost? What's the data size? Is that really affordable? Is it really we can do it? And then we are think about this. And then also for another big things, how about not do the everybody? We do it for all, for the, all the Chinese population. Now we're talking about it. Uh, try to convince uh, Shenzhen government to become the first in the city to sequence everybody. We try to convince uh, Macau, they are tiny needle, but they have lots of money. I think the, the gambling is still doing okay. <laughs> they have money to pay. So we try to convince them. 1.3 billion Chinese, each one for We call it ten touch what's called it the the terrain. Terrain. Terrain base pair. How much will it be? It's still we think it's uh, doable. Maybe it takes another ten or twenty years. And just like right now everybody go to the hospital, you need to have a uh, most time, if it's necessary, you want to have a CD and then you have X-ray, all this kind of examinations. Why not have your gene, genome database, have your genome mapping? And it's, it's the, it's, a, it's not a, 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 a technical issue, it's a financial, it's an economic issue. You just calculate how much would the cost if it's affordable, why not? Just do it. So, so we proposed from a human genome project to genomics for all. 
from read to write to application. What we can do? Right now, we are the, still in the first stage to read, to sequence, to mapping the human genome for everybody. And then probably we can editing, we can synthesize, we can make a lot of changes and therapies and treatment for the people, for the gene-related disease. So for the beginning, we are part of a human genome project. As Dr. Ong introduced, the early days, the universe was, and was the best, uh, uh, they have the best uh, sequence center in the world in the early 90s because the Bill Gates donated the money to build up the bio, the called the bio, biotech division for Nihu, Nihu and the Mena Olsen at that time. So we were there. So we were thinking, how about that? just bring all this back to China? At that time, it's too much money and too many people involved and too slow. So it's, I remember it was a, a quick vendor to challenge all this uh, public uh, uh, sectors, try to beat all of them and by the private company because the G and the, all this uh, ABIS company bring the new sequence technology, they call the uh, capillary the sequencer. They speed up everything. They drop the price down to the 0.3 billions. So at that time, we were part of the Human Genome Project. But we applied for that, but we were turned down by the government. So we, this was our first job out from the Chinese Academy. We left, we started our own institute. That time we were in Beijing, we called it Beijing Genomics Institute. So it was 99, and we started because of the Human Genome Project. We took 1% of the tasks. So since then, you see the, the sequence price, the drop is much faster than the Morse law. I, we thought that if the Morse law, because the Morse law for the IT industry, they bring the revolution things to the human kinds, to the society, from the personal computer to the smartphone. If they can do it like this, I think the sequence will be go much fast, and they even they bring more opportunity for us. So even they call us the troublemaker, but we are the good guys. We are the only one private institute in mainland China. Started with the public effort. It's not a, a, a charity, it's a public things. But we took our own money to start with. That time, nobody believed it. So that's why they called us troublemaker. They think there's no way you can do it. And even the whole channel cannot do it. But we, all the, most of our founders are from the universe of Washington. At that time, UW was the best one. If UW can do it, we bring back to China, we can do it. It's the same idea, same people, same technology. Why not just do it? So this is, why, this is how we started. Now it's a $1,000. How about in the next few years, we bring down to the thousand RBs, thousand even maybe Hong Kong dollars, even more cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> What's the ratio right now? Almost one to one? <laughs> 
So the human gen, uh, genome project is as good as, uh, as, as great as uh, nuclear power and uh, space shuttle, all these things. For this, two of these, China far behind. Whatever they do is at least 20 years behind the US. But for the Human Genome Project, we are together. We are in the same pace. So why not just try to catch up, go fast? Now it's almost 20 years past. It's time to, to go to the applications. Because they called us the troublemaker, and uh, thanks very much for Bill Clinton and Tony Blair, and they said the special thanks. They mentioned uh, during their announcement, they gave a special thanks for Chinese scientists. And uh, President Jiang tried to figure out who did that. And then they found that there's a bunch of people hiding in the core field, <laughs> in, the, in the far away, in, in the, uh, the, the uh, 30 miles away from the Beijing, in the core field, it's a very ugly building. We finished that. So we become This is very interesting. Look at those two guys. Francis Colling and Eric Lander. Now they are the, he is the head of the uh, NIH of the United States. Now he's the co chairman for the uh, 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 President Obama. Uh, he's the uh, consulting member. He is the, the he's. The, So if without him to mention, to thank for us, we are already dead out there. there nobody pay attention, no money, is, no government support. We are illegal to, doing the, to represent mainland China to do the Human Genome Project. So this is a very interesting thing. And now the Obama become the big fan to support the Human Genome Project. He's the first one to propose the Genome Project uh, for the medical reforms. And the last year, he proposed the, the uh, precision medicine. So the, the government, it's a for the big things, it's so important to support. Then we had trouble, so we had to move around from Beijing to Hangzhou to Hangzhou, and then finally move to Hong Kong. But all these projects are designed and then decide with the top leader. This is from top to down projects, but we are initiated from the bottle. So this is why we had a lot of trouble. That's why most of uh, the, the scientists in China hate us, because we destroyed the whole system. Look back to the 100 years ago. On that time, even Albert Einstein is more like a monkey. A monkey more like him. <laughs> But he is much smart. <laughs> He's the guy leading the whole things for the last centuries. And China is far, far behind. So we had no choice at that time. Oh, now that look at the, the, the bio compared to the ITs, compared to the uh, physics, we are catch up so fast. From Darwin to, to Newton's, there's 200 years behind. From James Watson to Einstein, it's uh, 50 years behind. 
Now for the big projects, it's 10 years behind. So physics leading the way and the bio is catch up, bioscience catch up so fast. Now we try to push very fast. So England proposed the 100,000 genome project four years ago. Now they are running in big trouble because the Sugarlands and all these people wants to be independent and everybody holds their own data. Nobody can share with those England genome project. So there are complaints, fighting inside troubles. And then last year, Obama proposed the one million genome project for the precision medicine. Now the Chinese government tried to catch up, also proposed the, 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 the precision medicines. Again, we are kicked out. So we become totally, we call us independent because nobody wants to play with us in the main channel. <laughs> we have to uh, sort of be independent. But we started our own genome project five years ago called the one million human genome projects, one million plants, animals, and uh, microorganisms started by ourselves. This is our uh, sequence uh, uh, machine uh, R&D center based in Mountain View, California. See, we are the labor of Google and uh, LinkedIn and the company genomics. It's, it's one of the, our uh, subsidiaries, BGI subsidiaries in Mountain View. Now it's 100. 50 people working there still. Now we can make our own machines. The only two, three, two companies, uh, two countries, and three companies can do this. The BGI and the Illumina and the thermal features. Now we are in the, in the stage to large, uh, doing the largest scale productions. And yesterday was the, the day the Chinese FDA approved that sequencer as a medical device. We got a license for that. Now we can produce 100 machines per month. Our goal is about 1,000 or even more and try to cover the, the whole channel and even bigger. Uh, we can provide all these machines for everybody. Now we are in the large scale stage to, to produce things. Now we have a, a different type of this. This is a, the, the, the big platform. Uh, the, it can finish 100 genome per day. That one is our second biggest one. And this is the one we just got a, a license yesterday. And that will be the new one. We are going to launch that two days later. So that one will be goes to the countryside <coughs> for the poor place, and much cheaper. And we try to make sure everybody in China can have their gene data if it is necessary for the gene diagnosis. We try to push China to become the first country to cover by the sequence technology to provide the cheap, affordable service for everybody. So from the, 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 from the, the whole, exon, whole genome sequence to exon sequence, the, the epigenome and all those kind of things. So we are in the good uh, position for the genome read. And also we are part of genome, human genome write. This is kind of a crazy ideas. 
proposed by the U.S. scientists a few months ago. They tried to complete the synthesis of the human genome in 10 years, in a billion dollars. This is the, the real cost. They went down so fast. So in the next 10 or 20 years, there will be exactly like Human Genome Project read. They can do it in the large scale. They can synthesize everything. There will be big trouble for the human society. I have no idea what's going to happen for that. But anyway, people are doing this. The guy, George Church, the girl, Lu Han, Yang, this, <laughs> our very close friend. So they ask us to work with them closely. And then we are also the biggest synthesized platform for synthesize all of this kind of things. I think maybe this month we're going to have a few papers in science. Probably it's a special issue for the census size. We are census size uh, 32 million base pair of yeast. The paper is, I think, it's, it's on the way to be published. <clears throat> if we can do it, not only the bacteria, also the yeast, probably we can do anything. They will be the, another big big things. Now this is what we are doing. Now, the Muma has been disappeared more than 10,000 years. Now we make the cell alive again. We clone the, the cell. Now the cell, we have a, probably a billion cells. We work with the, the people from Russia and from uh, South Korea. And then we sequence all this, and then we can, now we are looking for a mom, <laughs> for the mermaids, and also for those guys. I don't know what's the English name, that's Bai Ji Teng. We try to find the cells from, from this fish, and or we can synthesize it. It's a little bit scary to synthesize uh, people, but they have lots of fun to synthesize uh, animal. So nobody against us, right? Synthesize bacteria is okay, synthesize uh, yeast is okay, probably synthesize uh, fish or that guy. That guy is too big, it's five meters high. So, uh, <laughs> so we work on that. So from the Read to write, also for the, all these gene editing, uh, those kind of things. We have uh, hundreds of people work on that, try to be the, uh, uh, a major player for the, uh, for the future things. Uh, we are crazy enough to have our own scientific journal. We sort of hate to send our paper to Nature Science to review by those guys. How about to have our own? So we started our own journal four or five years ago. This year was the first time to evaluate it by the, uh, uh, what's called the, the, the nature or something. We are, the, the ICI we scored Seven point something. We ranked in number six worldwide for this uh, uh, Martin disciplinary. Hmm. And we ranked in number three in mainland China for the basic research, nature science publications. And we only focus on the one field, it's life science. And those big universities, they have the the, the, the physicists and uh, all this kind of uh, 
different, they work on a different field. We got in the one. We contributed 40% of uh, basic research uh, uh, output for Shenzhen government, for, for Shenzhen. We only got 0.4% of the funding. So we are not happy with that. <laughs> but we show the data, <laughs> trying to shame our government. <laughs> Say, 44%, 0.4%. 0.4% of the, the, the fundings. It's not fair for us, right? <laughs> also, we rank number one for the industrial organization, the contribution for the uh, corporations of research. See, I'll give a few examination, what we, example of what we are doing right now. For the birth defect, now in the mainland China, it's a 5.6 of the birth defect. See what we can do. And uh, there's three companies that launched that they have the more than one million of the genome data. One is 1.2 million from 23 and me. Look at their data site. Tiny. And the second one is in C3. 1.5 million people has been tested, but look at their data size. This is BGI. This is uh, six months ago. One million data, one million people for the uh, uh, prenatal testings. This is our data size. Much, much bigger. That's why I come over <coughs> to here. You know, we, we can open the data site for everybody if you want to do the research. There's lots of things you can dig on that. There's a sample from 32 countries, or 62 countries. We sequenced the, the DNA from the mom, but there's some DNA from the the babies and from the father. So we think it's one sample, so we get three people's information. Our goal is try to reduce all of this kind of birth defect. So I, we proposed, how can we make China become the first country not really doing the, what's the birth control. <laughs> we can do the birth defect control. It's a bad way to save the people, not force people to planning their birth and control the birth. So we propose that and then we, we calculate all this kind of uh, diagnosis and, uh, and uh, predictions and all this kind of things. How much will be cost? What's the uh, economic returns? We calculate, trying to convince all those kind of things. And four years we propose that and nobody believe us, against us. Because say, hey, you guys are crazy. It's not necessary. It's not, uh, you cannot do it. But for the last five years, we have one million. For this year, one year, we got already, if they think we can finish one million testings. Next year, at least, we can double and triple the number. So we, we can predict in next three or four years, we can cover the whole channel. 20 million newborn baby. We can offer the, 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 all this prenatal testing for every Pregnant, pregnant women for the newborn babies. The price, the cost right now is 10% of the Hong Kong price. And it's 20% of the US cost. So we am sure we can really do it for the whole country. This is what we are doing right now. 
This is the, 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 the big data uh, uh, showroom. We put all the data together, and you can see the difference. So for some kind of very special things, all this uh, down syndrome sense from the older most uh, happens for the older uh, are pregnant women. But in some provinces, we found very young women also carry this kind of disease. Nobody knows why. All this textbook never tell. But we, from this data, we can figure out. We can find it. This is from 1.4, 1.5 million dead site. All this kind of sense, not only pre for the diagnosis, also for the prediction, for the, for the new uh, discovery, for the new uh, uh, field of the researchers. This is the real thing. All this textbook, all the publication never mentioned that. So this is very, very interesting things. I encourage you guys to get involved all this kind of what we can do. For the cancer things, also it's become a very, very serious problem in mainland China. All the cancers started from the DNA mutations from the single cell mutations. And then they become, for years, 10 or 20 years, become a big tumor. And they become, become a killer for the human health. But all the tumor cells are going to blood. Just like a, a, a pregnant women test for the uh, prenatal test, we take the blood from the mom, and then we can figure out the, uh, the genes in the mom's blood, uh, uh, blood also the, the, the DNA from the baby in mom's blood. We can figure out. The tumor is the same thing. If we do it, they call it a liquid biopsy. If you can do it in the deep sequencing, you can figure out the, 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 the DNA mutation from, from the blood. And they gave the prediction and then much earlier. Most time we can find that the mutation and tumor marker earlier than the image. And this is good prediction and uh, precaution and then for the prevention and for the early uh, treatment, the early diagnosis for the early treatment. For, the, for example, for this, for this lung cancers, we screened the whole BGI's employees. This is patients from the early, from the later stage of the lung cancer patients. You can see the tumor markers. But we sequenced the 500 of BGS employees. We found that one person has some of these kind of markers. But the, by X-ray, by CTs, by NMR, we, we found nothing. So, but there's tumor markers. Give us some suggestions. So he was a little bit worried about it, but by the medical exam examination, you found nothing. So we have to wait. And then nine months later, and then turned out that he's a lung cancer patient. So in that time also, his immune system was almost totally destroyed. But after this, Surging all this removal tumors, his immune system going back. So for the cancer early detections, there's two important evidence. One is the tumor markers. Another thing is the immuno, uh, immune system. You have to, you, you can, Evaluate that. And they gave some warning and they gave some per 
provide incense, make sense. Can so save the life. No people still survive. The other guys still survive. It's already four years. He was a great man, worked so hard. The apple is doing better and better. He's gone. For what? So the life is most important things. It's very funny. We, and he told me he's watching BGI for years very closely. So I, we, <laughs> we are watching him. And he took over his positions. <laughs> While his enemies or friends or lifelong friends, this guy still survived. Right? He's happy. <laughs> he's making more money. He's more famous. He's gone. So this is different. You have to figure out what's the life meaning for. You have to really to figure out. This is why we propose to have all this kind of early prevention things. To bring the cost down. To have everybody sequenced screened to prevent all these dead diseases. So we propose that precision medicines can solve the cancer problems. All this kind of things, we work with all this kind of things. This is my blood. Can you believe it? It's my uh, it's a serum. It's the uh, 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 span after the, uh, the, the centrifuge to remove the blood cells. I have been that way for many years. They, they, there was a long time ago. They predicted I cannot live in for over 50s. They asked me to stay in hospital. I have the problem with the cardiovascular. And the blood pressure is high. And... Uh, all this kind of ugly, fat, uh, uh, cholesterol in my blood. And I, I was educated, I was a, a medical uh, education uh, uh, background. I tried to figure out what's going on. So, because I eat too much, or I was too lazy or something. <laughs> I reduced my body weight. If I reduce the, 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 I take the control for my diet and I control my the weight. I bring the, my weight from the 70 kilo to the 60s. Been very skinny, and, but my since never change. So the problem is my gene problem. Oh, I cannot do it. And then I figure out, that it's, oh, it's the Apple A5. It's a, it's a homozygous <laughs> mutation. <laughs> it's a homozygous mutation. <laughs> this is, I had no choice. So for all these genes I sequenced, I have a two big problem. One is that, one is that. <laughs> so Nancy, I might beg you to help me to prevent the Alzheimer. And some days I become dumb. <laughs> I'm the Alzheimer patient because my gene has some problem. It's not my problem, it's my gene's problem. So now I'm trying to work with our new president, <laughs> Dr. Ye, to work together to, to anti-aging and anti-Alzheimer's, treat me genes, <laughs> make me smart, and <laughs> avoid <laughs> those kind of things. And right now, my blood uh, vessel, it's, everything's okay. So all this metabolic things is under control, and uh, glucose, and... Uh, Christians and also in the all in the control because we figure out the genes, we figure out the gut bacteria. So this is one of our publication. 
was uh, the co-author was uh, uh, Wang Jun. He was our CEO, and he was very smart guy. And that that paper published six six or seven years ago. What's the the cover page story? Is our our genome, our uh, gut bacteria, they were regulate all those kind of things. See, look at those guys. This is the truth. Their genes exactly the same, but the gut bacteria is different. If you wash their guts and. Uh, and then doing the, the gut stuff of transplantation and the transplant, they were switched quickly in two or three weeks. That guy, oh, this lady will become her sister. <laughs> so I did by myself. And now everything's under control. I stopped to take the blood pressure, all these drugs, all get rid of all those things, and we still survive and still healthy. Swimming, climbing, all those crazy things. This is in the South Pole, after the, 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 the very, after the, what's called the, the ice uh, ship, <laughs> broken ice ship, I followed it, swimming. <laughs> You can go downhill of, with a snowboat. And this is Mountain Everest. This is once than me. <laughs> this is the top of Everest. That was six or seven years ago. Hey, there are not really important things. Eight pigment. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> It's gone. Check my passport. I never go to South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real. It's a. It's a. Uh, uh, the controlling of my gut bacteria and the balance all these nutrients and the spores and all these kind of things. We can reverse aging. See, I can bring something to you. <laughs> we can work close together. <laughs> and they, probably everybody wants it. Look, this picture is not taken by purpose. We're looking for the, the, the data, the, the picture, uh, the library, and get this kind of stuff. We never pay attention to that. It was a few months ago. They figured out, well, where is the aging pigment? So really, it's gone. It's gone. So how to use the big data to control all these things, to sort of reverse and make your back, uh, uh, metabolic become a real good and control all the bad things. So this is what we are doing. So we propose four million projects for the birth defect, for cardiovascular disease, for the cancer, for the anti-aging things. Because now we can do it. Now, we work with the Shenzhen, 13 Shenzhen hospitals that we form, we team up to form a, a call a, the Precision Medicine Research Institute. And we also work with the Jiangsu province and there are 13 tumor hospitals, cancer hospitals work together with us. That means we are going to produce huge data, all these kind of different diseases we are going to have. And also we need, we have another, the, the, what's it called, the Zhongshan Universities, the Shenzhen Universities, the eight hospitals, and the Henan, all the whole province is working with us. We want to share this data. With everybody. So also we convince all the, the foreign and the, the, the international people to work close with us. We just pick up who really like us. We don't pay much attention or the, pay the effort to convince the number one. Number two, we just found the people who looks 
we look like uh, we, we like each other and they work close to each other. Then we sign all this kind of project uh, the, the, the agreement with all these universities and hospitals. I, I visit them one by one to convince them. We can offer the data. We have all the sense. We can share all of the sense. We, we can help for each other and all those kind of things. So every year, we talk to Bill Gates. And finally, he agreed us. We set a big platform to serve the whole world. Not only, now his foundation is sort of like a, a funding agents. I tried to convince, I tried a couple of years to convince him. Last time he was in, in Hong Kong, in the, our Hong Kong lab, he stayed at six, six, seven hours from four o'clock to the 11 o'clock. This newly opened uh, National Gene Bank is operated by us. It's a one, one and a half hour away, uh, hours away from here. It's the biggest uh, gene bank in the world. So, <laughs> the gene bank has, uh, we, we call it three, uh, three banks. One is the uh, uh, sample and storage. One is the database. One is the living museum and living uh, 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 applications. So sample storage and data bank and the living life for, for applications. And then we have two platforms, the biggest the sequence center and biggest the synthesized center. So. so from the, this, this is my serial. This is version one for the uh, prevention, for the, for the, uh, uh, Vaccines and for the for the traditional medicine, the people's average expected lifespan is under forty, and with the public health with the vaccines and the, the, the all those kind of antibiotics, it's a sixties now for the. Evidence-based medicine is uh, 80s. Now with the precision medicine, we'll be going to the hundreds. And then the profession, uh, precision health will be going beyond the hundreds. So our goal in BGI, we ask everybody at least live for 100 years. Otherwise, we'll kick you out. <laughs> Even you are not healthy enough, you are not Take care of yourself. If you're not following these scientific uh, uh, suggestions, you got out of our uh, group. <laughs> we don't like it. So this is why we call it digital life, which is from DNA to RNA to protein, all those kind of things. We try to get all the information. It's not only for the human kind, for ourselves first. If we cannot do it by ourselves. And then you are a big who you we call it. So you have to convince yourself. So we, this is why come to the, the real thing. So from the human genome project to genomics to all. Can we do it? If a thousand RMBs and then mainland China, everybody can affordable. They'll do it. And only the DNA data, only the DNA data is not good enough. We need the proteins, the small molecules, all this uh, image data, uh, all this uh, phenotypic data, phenotypes. So we saw that from genomics to transomics for all. This is why we have a pretty large uh, uh, mass spectrum platform. 
And from big data to full coverage, that means for everyone, real time, whole picture. This is real big. So the question is, what's the real challenge? Can we really do it? And back to the, 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 the money issue, how much? The final question is how much? Uh, if your health, I ask you to do that. I always ask how much. It's uh, worth to do it. What's the value? I spend the money, spend the money to do that. What's the value for that? So what's the technical challenge? First of all, it's the DNA sequence for this part. And it's the mass spec. And it's the images. So I think in the future, for the next 10 or 20 years, the drugs, the medicines still need. But the most important is prevention. It's not to take the drug. I don't need a drug. I can control myself. <laughs> I can, lots of things you can change by your behaviors, by your uh, diet, by your uh, exercise. Lots of things you can change. But we still need some monitoring and uh, machines to, to, to help. So sequence, mass, all this imaging, all this kind of stuff. We need a fully automated system. We need lots, lots of uh, uh, to bring the cost down. Otherwise, too expensive thing. So what I propose in here, for the intelligent manufacturers, we need you guys' help. We like, welcome you to join. I saw the few labs. You have lots of things we don't have. We can help each other. And we can learn from each other. And we can benefit from each other. And data collection, analysis, storage, the big data things, the four picture things, will become the, we are already the biggest database for the genome. And then we are going to become the real, real, we already number one. But how big is big enough? How much we can, how many data we can handle? What's the benefits? What's the value for you guys? We cannot hold all this data forever. We, we hope everybody can jump in to dig on the data. What's the applications? If we can do it in a very cheap way to get all this information, we're going to change the whole world. We're going to benefit the whole world. So this is why I come over to here, not make trouble for you guys, just make some suggestions. <laughs> and hopefully you can really understand that we can really looking for a way to work closely because we are not far away. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>